We're not allowed to bring the candles with us to the hotel. And so we decided just to light all of them before we leave. We're leaving in about an hour-ish. We're gonna take that out and put a free sign on it. This plus this is our plain stuff. This is our donate stuff. That too. And this is our we're burning through it while we're still here stuff. And this is the thousand subscriber giveaway stuff. We're saying goodbye to our apartment. Goodbye, toy that I spent many, many hours watching TikToks on. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss that thing so much. Remember the first day we moved in and we had a Universal Yums box? And we sat down right here because it was the only window. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to our new house. So we just moved in literally like three hours ago and this was already waiting for us. This is the last of our stuff. Bye house. The car is packed to the brim, but I can still somewhat see out the window. So we're still legal, I think. I don't know. So this is the Navy Lodge over on Naval Base San Diego. We just got all of our stuff up. It was like a parade of junk. It took us like three trips to get it up, but not all of this will be making it to Japan with us. So that's like our saving grace. We splurged and got the room with the kitchen in it. So that one has two beds. Sorry, par parental unit. Um, we originally were only going to have one bed, so we told them they weren't allowed to come out and visit us and live in our room. Now there's two, so by the time they see this, we'll be in Japan. But yeah, so we have this cute little area over here. We set some wax to go. Um, this is the Mickey and Friends wax. It comes with a little miniature kitchen. It's got two... Oh my god, my pan's like bigger than this. <laughs> so we got two of these little things, um, plenty of cabinet space, considering that we're only going to be living here for about 24 days. So, oh, and they give you silverware. Yeah, because we'll get one. Oh, oh a toaster. <gasps> I get your pot of toast. Yay! <laughs> Jesus, it's like a massacre. <laughs> I just threw it in. <laughs> I got to get my second COVID shot, so I was like, F it. What is this little thing? What is this? Oh, that's cute. What's the view? It's a ship. Wow. Hello, ship. What? Don't I tap don't... the glass. You're going to scare Help. the workers. <laughs> this is going to be great for playing Pokemon Snap tonight. <gasps> oh, no. I you... need to turn it the other way. Oh, you've been injured. We have settled somewhat in, so Donald has taken his place in this adorable chair. Oh. <laughs> Got her pasta going over here with three ounces of turkey. Some peppers, some zucchini noodles, some of this um, no sugar added, simply ramp goo, and then of course I um I had my seasoning, so I seasoned it with some garlic, onion, a little bit of pepper, and some Italian seasoning. We're gonna be topping it with about five point wait half an ounce of uh, parts gamma and then some parm. Mine's the same thing, but with needles. Let's watch The Handmaiden's Tale, you said. What the F? She's like, why are they doing this? Hey, they just said that there were not plenty. <laughs> what? She's so nosy. <laughs> Bark. <laughs> so we went out for dinner tonight because since we have t-mobile they gave us free pancakes from ihop <laughs> 
So on our way out there, we actually ran into another Daiso. We bought a lot of stuff. A, a tripod for our phone because we've been like, I don't know if you guys could see it over there, but like this has been our little stand to hold our phone up. I got this really cool clipboard. It's so cute. Rapunzel says, fight do, which means fight. And then Snow White says, Subarashi, which is like amazing. And then Jasmine says, okay. These cute little Mickey Mouse tabs for like note taking. Oh, yeah. Disney cupcake washi tape. I got this for my bobbit pins. We have no idea what we're going to use these for. They are magnetic. This Winnie the Pooh washi tape. Isn't it so cute? So Ariel says yatane, which means like you did it. And then Belle says mimashita, which I think means I see, but I'm not I don't I don't I probably am not correct about that one. I'm just guessing. And then um Cinderella says gambatane, which means like do your best. Some more washi tape. This one is Minnie Mouse and Flowers. These ones are very easy to read. Check. Okay. Good. <laughs> Book holders. <laughs> they have mustaches. <laughs> I genuinely don't know why we purchased that. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at his little cheeks. He's just shoving another one in. We're on our way to the post office to send out the thousand subscriber giveaway stuff. And then also all of the uh, gifts that we bought for friends and family. Wow. Today is the 20th of May. We are four days away from flying and I just graduated my program. So I'm officially on my own. I am a licensed individual provider. The COVID tent's gone. The people who check our temperatures are gone. The gates, making sure there's only limited ways in and out, are gone. It's just so crazy. Things are finally going back to normal. So it is Friday, the 21st of May. Um, we are dropping our car off today. We figured out that car rental is way too expensive, so we're going to take an Uber back here and then a shuttle to the airport and everything else we'll do by train. Since last week, we've been harassing, not harassing, but like pestering, I guess? pester ball throwing at PSD and receipts and transfers trying to figure out our flight itinerary so we can figure out if we can keep our car today or if we could turn it in on Monday um, so that we weren't like completely stranded over the weekend and they uh ugh. he was like oh yeah we still have to start working on it but we're gonna move you to the top of the list and I'm like I we leave Monday this is so stressful. We contacted receipts and transfers who told us to contact PSD San Diego, who told us to contact PSD Pensacola, who then told us to contact PSD Gulfport. So we finally contacted PSD Gulfport and they just told us that they just sent it to PSD San Diego and <laughs> it should be done within the hour. And I was like, okay. It has been 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. When did you call? I don't know. I don't know either. It's been 10. It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> I've never been so stressed out for a PCS in my life. I don't want to leave the hotel until we have the email. I know. Because like, what if it's like, oh, you're not flying until I think Tuesday or Wednesday. Then I'm like, we're going to keep the car. Yeah. We have flight. What is this? Uh, that would be my lunch because I was really nervous and oh. threw it. <laughs> we actually have to um, hurry up to Vines, pick up the package stuff. Oh! <laughs> we just made it to the VPC, the, the Vehicle Processing Center. This is where they're gonna store Blue. I don't think I ever introduced my car. My car's name is Blue. Sparkly and clean. Ready to say goodbye? Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I got a piercing. Yeah, we're talking about potentially getting piercings this weekend. Taking a trolley to somewhere to get one. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Well, Missy, this is why it's named Blue. You made it home. 
Yeah. That was our first Uber drive ever. We had never done anything like that before. Like, the last time I took anything um, in the United States, I was still a youngin' in San Francisco, and I took a taxi everywhere. So yeah, so we dropped the car off, it was inspected, checked over, made sh they like they point out every single little bump and problem on it. I'm tired. I'm tired too. I'm stressed. We have our plane tickets, our car is turned in, we have this hotel until the day we leave. We need to be at the airport by five. Oh. Um, which means that the last piece that we need to figure out is transportation to the airport and how we're gonna get all of our luggage off base. So it is later, we have eaten dinner, um, and we were talking with some friends who are on their way up to Disney, and we were like giving them advice and stuff. We're like, oh my God, do this, do that. And they were asking about our flights and stuff. And we were just like, yeah, yeah, the last thing we need to do is try to find a ride to the airport. And they're like, well, why don't you spend the night with us? Spend the night with us and we'll drive you to the airport. I was like, no, we need to be at the airport at like five. That's crazy. And they were like, yeah, spend the night with us. We'll drive you to the airport. So now we're leaving a day early. <laughs> so we were stress packing because tomorrow's our last full day in here. And then we go live with friends for a night and then we are flying to Japan. It is the second and last day that we are here in San Diego. Today we went to uh, get something special done. hurt. <laughs> How's your brow? It hurts a little bit, but it's okay. We got a COVID test. Oh, that's what, okay, Jackie's like, COVID test! I'm normal. I'm yeah. Like, you can't Punk. even really see it there. And so after that, we went to go get our COVID test done, and we took an Uber over, and then did not realize that we needed to keep said Uber. Yeah, apparently when it says drive up testing, it literally means Drive, drive up, up testing. Luckily, our friend Marie, we were able to reach out to her and she was so sweet. She was actually at the park with her kids and her mom and she was like, okay, bye. And they drove like 20 minutes off to come grab us and then let us sit in her car as we were like violating our own noses. Yeah. Yay, a nasal swab. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel so bad for everyone that has to do it like on a weekly basis for work. BJ, I'm so sorry. Like, that sucks. So now we are home and we're just going to chill out for the rest of the day and get the rest of our stuff packed up. And then tomorrow morning we're going to head over to the mall um, to get some different studs and some retainers because obviously I cannot wear those to work. And then our friends are going to pick us up around 4pm and we're going to beg them for Chipotle for our final meal before we leave the States. Morning! Hi! Alright, so today is Sunday the 23rd. It's our last day in San Diego. We are on our way over to the mall. We've never taken the trolley, um, and since this is our last day, we figured we'd do it, and then we could just take an Uber on the way back. So it's 2 p.m. the day before we leave. We were at the mall picking out new earrings and stuff when we got a call from the hotel basically saying that they never authorized us to stay till 4, even though the dude at the front desk said we could. And that we needed to get back right away or we'd be charged a half day. So we got back just in time to be able to skedaddle and then said F it and we paid for the half day. So now we are chilling out here for the next hour because we paid for it. Well, life gives you lemons. We packed way too much. Our final night in the United States and our awesome friends took us out to Chipotle and look at this monstrosity. That is special. <laughs> that is its own creation. Yours looks normal. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure everyone else's looks normal. I think he was just mad at me. <laughs> I don't know.